Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Transfer Express webinar. My name is Andy Curtis. I am the Senior Manager of Customer Service and Graphic Design here at Transfer Express. And it is my pleasure to bring you how to choose your best full color transfer. So if you have joined me before, welcome back. I appreciate you being here. You know how this goes. If this is your first time, uh, then I'm glad that you came. Thank you for popping in. The uh, way that this process is going to work here is that we are going to talk about uh, how to choose your best full color transfer for about 45 to 60 minutes. During that time, uh, we will be recording. So if you do have to pop out for some reason, if you miss part of it, um, or God forbid, if there's some kind of uh, technological sound issue, uh, keep in mind that we are taping this, we are recording it, and it will be posted on our website at transferexpress.com backslash webinars. Um, you can also pop questions into the chat box that you guys have all found on the uh, right, uh, right hand side of the page there. Uh, I will do my best to answer your questions uh, as you pop them into the box. Uh, in the event that you guys uh, bombard me with a whole bunch of questions, then uh, my helper behind the curtain is going to be assisting in answering questions. Um, so uh, I will do my best, though, if I see a question in there that pertains, I will definitely uh, answer it to the best of my ability. But uh, if I miss it, then my helper will jump in. There we go. There he is. Uh, will jump in and uh, answer for me. So uh, with that being said, um, I, I'm glad you're all here today. We're going to talk about how to choose your best full color transfer. So this is one of those topics that comes up a lot in customer service at Transfer Express. Um, the uh, uh, Oh, yes, and thank you. Uh, so to all of you who registered for the webinar, you're going to get an email from us uh, that will have the uh, webinar slides. Um, so uh, if you want a copy of the slides, that is going to be emailed to you. And if you do need to see the recording, um, the recording will be emailed out afterwards, but it will also be at transferexpress.com backslash webinars. So. Anyway, okay, so uh, this is a topic that comes up a lot here at Transfer Express. This is a question that our customer service folks get on the phones quite often, actually, and it's totally understandable. Uh, there are a bunch of different full color options at Transfer Express these days, and it can be difficult to decide which ones to go with. Um, so we're going to talk about the different full color transfers we have at Transfer Express, and we're going to discuss when to use which ones. Um, I'm even going to give you some actual live pricing examples of uh, how the prices compare between the products, because what you'll find as we go today is that there are times when different products are useful for different reasons. There will be times when you'll go with one product for one reason and you'll go with another product for another reason. Uh, there's there's pricing differences and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to give you a whole bunch of examples today, some live pricing examples, and we'll talk about uh, the subtle nuances between all of the different uh, all of the different digital transfer types. Now, what I want to point out to everybody right off the bat, uh, we've qualified this as how to choose your best full color transfer. OK, so full color transfers. Now, uh, the reason we're differentiating it like that is because we're not going to be discussing spot color transfers in this webinar. Spot color transfers, of course, being screen print. So spot color would be like flat two dimensional coloring book type colors. Uh, for those types of pieces of artwork, you would want to go with the screen print instead. Uh, so we're not going to be discussing spot color. We're going to be discussing only the full color transfer stuff. Okay, so, uh, aw, I see, I see a couple of comments already. I'm so glad to hear that our customer service reps have been so helpful to you guys. Thank you for that. I will pass that along. They will be thrilled to hear that. All right, so let's get right into it, shall we? So when to use full color transfers. So as I mentioned uh, just a second ago, we're going to be talking about full color transfers. We're not going to be discussing spot color transfers, but that still raises the question of, OK, well, if you've got spot color and you've got full color transfers, this digital stuff, when should I use which? Like what, what's the thing that drives me to go one direction versus the other? That's probably the most common question we get here at Transfer Express is, well, why should I order full color transfers? Um, 
so these are the reasons. These are the reasons why you should order a full color transfer, a digital transfer, instead of a spot color screen print transfer. Uh, because your artwork is three or more spot colors, and we qualify it that way because if you have uh, less than three spot colors, well, and you can do our plain, our goof proof transfers, our plain screen print transfers, and it'll be cost effective for you. It'll be cheap, uh, be the way to go. Um, but in this case, if you have three or more spot colors, it's actually cheaper to go with a digital transfer instead of a screen print transfer. Now, that's not to say that if you do want to pay extra because you like the texture of a screen print transfer, you like the look of a screen print transfer, it's totally fine. You can still do that. Uh, at the end of the day, I will print as many spot colors as you want to pay for as a screen printed transfer. But it is much more cost effective for you to go digital if your artwork has three or more colors. Or maybe your artwork is already full process color. Uh, and when we say full process color, we mean like all colors of the rainbow. Uh, and uh, Dennis, uh, you're asking about quality. We will get there in a couple slides actually. So hang on to that thought. So when we say full process color, we're talking like the whole spectrum of colors, right? So if you've got artwork that is fading and shading. So in my example here, if you look real closely at my gray t-shirt in my photograph here, my gray t-shirt, we've got that uh, blue J head up towards the top near the neck. So this is an example of something that's full process color, right? Because that, that artwork is a whole bunch of different shades of blue with fading and shading. Um, you'd never be able to achieve that level of detail with screen print with that blue J head. Uh, if you have photographic artwork, you would want to go with a digital transfer. If you're trying to do a photograph, uh, we've all seen those shirts, right? Family reunion shirts, or or they're sad, but the in memory of t-shirts that we see too, where you've uh, got a picture in memory of grandma and you've got grandma's face. With those types of transfers, you definitely want to do digital as well. Um, because again, screen printing, you're never going to be able to achieve that level of detail, right? You don't want to redraw grandma's face as a two-dimensional drawing. So uh, photographic artwork, you go with digital transfers, half tones and gradients. So when you do a screen printed transfer, there is a certain degree of half tones and gradients you can achieve with screen print, but gosh, it's not a lot. 20 dots per inch is the best we can do with gradients and half tones when you do a screen print. But when you do a digital transfer, the detail is true to your artwork. There is no limit. So that's what you want to do. That's where the direction you want to go with this. So uh, Virginia is asking a good question. Does the digital look like a sticker? Uh, the digital transfers do not look like stickers necessarily, no. But you know what, Virginia, we're going to talk about a bunch of different kinds of digital transfers. Um, so uh, hang tight, and I'm going to sort of answer that question as we go, just uh, sort of by nature of the conversation. Um, so uh, Paulette brought up the topic of sublimation transfers. So sublimation transfers are a totally different topic. And I'm, I'm glad somebody mentioned this at the beginning. Sublimation transfers are a whole different topic. We're not going to discuss sublimation during this webinar. Uh, we don't do sublimation here at Transfer Express. Uh, but I'm going to give you options that are cheaper and uh, more uh, realistic than sublimation as we as we go here today. OK. Um, all right, so these are the reasons why you would want to use a digital transfer. And I'll throw out another reason here too that I didn't include on the slide. Um, if you look at my blue, uh, it, it's not a, it's my little warm up gear that we've got on the, uh, the picture here, this blue garment. If you look at my left chest there, you notice it's, again, it's Brunswick Blue Jays. It's the tennis racket, right? But look real closely at that design. You see all the tiny little fine lines in the tennis racket on the blue gar garment there. That's something that, could you do that with screen print? Yeah, maybe sort of, kind of, but it wouldn't go very well because of all those little tiny, uh, the tiny areas in between the hash marks of the tennis racket, uh, because of the detail there, screen print wouldn't do very well with that. So another reason that sometimes you end up using a digital transfer, maybe it's not because it's so many colors, maybe it's not even anything to do with the amount of colors. One of the reasons you use digital transfer sometimes is because of how tiny the details are. Um, including with neck labels. Neck labels, one of the best things to do is to use the digital product for neck labels if you're gonna be doing uh, 
labels inside of garments because a lot of people want to put so much information on those labels. They want to include the care and the uh, makeup of the garment, but then they also want to include their their name and their website and that kind of thing. Uh, to screen print that is not always realistic, right? There's so much text you want to put in those neck labels and you can't screen print that small. So sometimes one of the reasons you go with a digital transfer doesn't have to do with full color. Sometimes you go with digital transfers because of how tiny the artwork is too. Uh, and George is asking a good question here. We're actually going to talk about the texture of these different transfers as we go, George. Um, so I know you're asking about how do these feel against the skin for the purpose of neck labels compared to Pastasol. Uh, we're actually going to talk about that. So hang tight on that question too, George. So here's the truth of it. When we say how to choose which full color transfer here at Transfer Express, all of the full color transfers sort of get divided into two different topics. Um, and actually this, this is gonna answer your question here, Jamie, if you hang tight. Uh, there's two different types of, of categories of full color transfers here at Transfer Express. There's the CAD prints category and there's the ultra color category. Uh, now, they're both full color transfers, CAD prints and ultra color. They're both full color transfers. It's just they're made differently, right? So regardless, and, and we're going to discuss these uh, in much more detail in the next couple slides here. So before anybody asks any specific questions, bear with me for a second. Um, so CAD prints and ultra color, both full color. Uh, they're both uh, CPSIA certified. They have both gone through 50 wash dry cycles. So I know uh, somebody a minute ago asked about durability, right? So uh, the durability of our digital products all compares to the durability of our screen print products. All of these products, screen print and digital, the CAD prints, the ultra color, all of it, have all gone through 50 wash dry cycles of testing before any kind of breakdown begins to occur. So we're talking very high quality, okay? So digital transfers do not come off in the wash. Digital transfers do not crack uh, abnormally early. Uh, I, I know that a lot of us who've been in the industry, um, I've been in the industry for 19 years, actually. I, my, my 19th year anniversary was last week, as a matter of fact. So I've been doing this a long time. And I know that if we went back in time 19 years, if we went back in time a little bit, Digital transfers were a lower quality product. It was, uh, they felt like plastic. I remember some of these used to feel like garbage bags, like that really thin, nasty plastic. Those times have changed, guys. So if you've been doing this, uh, thank you, Julio. So if you've been doing this as long as I have, then please know that the quality and the feel of these products is not at all what it used to be, okay? So we're not talking, uh, we're not talking digital transfers that will flake off the garment or peel off in one solid piece. We're talking things that will last the life of the garment that will not crack apart, that will not start to peel at the edges. Okay. Um, and I encourage you that if you ever have an experience with a transfer express transfer, where that kind of thing starts to happen, call us and talk to us about it because we can talk you through that. Um, the transfers shouldn't do those things. And if they do, it means there's something else going on. But more importantly, what I want you guys to understand here is the difference between CAD prints versus ultra color. So let's first talk about what are CAD prints. Okay, so we're, we're gonna start with CAD prints. So CAD prints is a print cut vinyl technology. What this means is we take your full color artwork. So in my picture here, you see blasting into kindergarten, you see a really cool full color space thing behind the uh, rocket ship there. So we've printed this piece of artwork onto a piece of white vinyl. Then we've CAD cut that vinyl out, okay? So you'll notice my CAD print, my photograph here has a white outline around the outside of it. All CAD prints have a white outline. Oh, <laughs> see, calm down, Rob. We're getting there. Um, so uh, the CAD prints process, the way this works is we print that blasting into kindergarten, Hale Road Elementary. We printed that onto a solid roll of vinyl. 
okay? But then we CAD cut around the artwork. So instead of you applying some big square piece of vinyl to your shirt, it's CAD cut around. And you notice how we even cut, if you look at the word blasting in my photograph here, look at the word blasting and then look at the word kindergarten. You'll notice there are some chunks between blasting and kindergarten that we weeded out even. So not only do we CAD cut around your design, but we try to weed out as much of the white vinyl as we possibly can, okay? Uh, but you'll notice that all CAD prints do come with that white outline. Now I know the next question you're gonna ask me is, Andy, does it have to have a white outline? No, you can change the white outline to another color, but bear in mind that if you don't, again, in my example here, it's all outline in white. If you didn't want the white outline, let's say that you were gonna put this on a red t-shirt, and you wanted the outline to be red, you could totally do that, but there is an extra fee to do so. There are no minimum quantities on CAD prints. This is one of the things that makes CAD prints beautiful. This is one of the reasons people love CAD prints is because there are no minimum quantities. Uh, they are sold per image and they're priced by the square inch. So this means you cannot gang sheet CAD prints. This means you cannot put multiple designs together. OK, uh, and then uh, they are priced by individual image and you cannot do white text only. There's the honesty behind it, guys. If you're doing just single color white text, CAD prints aren't going to work for you because it never fails. We cannot cut fine enough to do uh, white text like this. Uh, JW, yes, you do have to have the outline. All CAD prints will always have an outline. The white is the default. Uh, you don't have to keep it white. You can make it a color outline, but you have to pay for it in that case. Okay. Um, so we're going to talk about, uh, I see a couple of you guys asking about how thick is the vinyl and how does the vinyl feel. We're going to talk about that more as we go. We're, we're going to discuss the different kinds of CAD prints here in the next couple slides. So hang tight to those questions. Um, although I, I don't have the statistic here in the webinar to give you, um, Jeff, uh, you're asking how many mills thick. You know what? I don't have that mill statistic uh, here in this webinar, but I encourage you to shoot an email to info at transferexpress.com and we can dig that information up for you. Um, and Bruce, we're going to be talking about pricing in a hot second here. So bear with me. All right, so we've established that CAD prints are a print cut vinyl material where we print your artwork onto a piece of white vinyl, CAD cut that white vinyl out, and that's what you apply to your garment. So in this picture, you're looking at our CAD prints express print, okay? So again, CAD prints is the umbrella of product. CAD prints is all of that print cut vinyl material. And of those print cut vinyls, we have a couple different kinds. The first kind here is called express print. So in the picture, you see we've got a really a very detailed piece of artwork here. There's a lot of colors. There's a lot of stuff happening here. You could never screen print this piece of artwork. It would not turn out nearly this colorful and nearly this detailed if you tried to screen print this. So this piece of artwork here we've done with the Express Prints. So the Express Prints is the CAD print that is most budget friendly. So that means that the express prints, if you're looking for the cheapest, the most cost-effective CAD print that you can do, maybe it's a, a one-time use t-shirt, maybe it's for a rally, maybe it's for a one-day event type thing and you need something very cost-effective, that would be the CAD prints express prints. Very budget-friendly. Now here's the catch though, it is budget-friendly, but this is also the thicker, and again, I apologize that I don't have the statistic for how many mils thick here, but this is the thicker, of the different CAD prints. So uh, after this gets on a shirt, it does feel a little bit on the thick side. Uh, but if you're looking for something budget friendly, uh, that's cost effective, then that's that's the trade off that you make. The other thing that's beautiful about this CAD prints express prints is that it's the lowest application temperature we have here at Transfer Express. It's 250 degrees. That's fantastic. There is very, very few garments you're gonna scorch at 250 degrees. So this is a beautiful thing. Um, James, that's a good question. I'm going to let my helper behind the curtain answer that because I, I think this is one of our stock designs, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to let him chime in there on that one. Um, uh, but yes, yeah, so this is, this is the, uh, most budget friendly CAD print that we have here at Transfer Express. So it's the fastest application also. So not only is it 250 degrees, but it's also only a five second application time. So that's fantastic too. 
and it's a hot peel, so you're not having to wait to peel. So very fast to press. Uh, it does not have a stretch capacity, no. So this is the catch to the express prints is because it is so cost effective, it doesn't have any of the extra bells and whistles like stretchability, no. Uh, but uh, it does apply to cotton polyester and cotton poly blends. So again, this is a great option if you're doing a, a, a one-time event. This is a good option if you have a customer who is on a really tight budget. We see a lot of people use the express prints when they're doing fundraisers and events because they are so cost-effective, uh, very easy to do. Um, and again, very cost-effective. You keep your pricing down that way. So the CAD prints express print is sort of that base level, right? This is the entry level part of CAD prints. No, no bells or whistles. It doesn't do anything super special, but it is very cost effective. And yes, Tamara, it does go through the 50 wash dry cycles without any problems, no cracking, no peeling, no none of that stuff. Um, so Alan, you're, you're asking, Alan's question here is the label express print to signify stock designs. No, uh, the, the label express prints here, Alan, is the kind of CAD print. It doesn't have anything to do with stock design or your design. Uh, a CAD print and express print, any of these products can be your artwork or our artwork. The name express print just refers to the type of CAD print that we're talking about here. All right, so again, CAD prints, express prints, that's the entry level, that's the ground floor. So the next one up is CAD prints, soft, opaque. So now this is gonna be a little bit more expensive than the CAD prints, express prints, but that's because we're starting to get into some extra bells and whistles here with the soft, opaque. All right, so the CAD prints, soft, opaque is the most versatile because it literally applies to almost anything. My secret weapon here, as the customer service manager here at Transfer Express, I, I can tell you that in 19 years, I have had some wacky questions about, you know, can I apply a transfer to a this or to a that? Um, did you guys know there's garments out there that are made of like coconut, recycled coconut husks? Um, there's all kinds of weird garment types out there that are coming out all the time. It's, it's so cool. It's neat to see what people are doing with fabrics and, and textiles and all that. But the big secret that I've always had in my back pocket here at Transfer Express is if somebody calls in with a garment type that's really out in left field that we haven't gotten to play with yet at Transfer Express, or maybe we've never even heard of it yet, the place we always start, because CAD print soft opaque applies to literally almost anything under the sun, we start with CAD print soft opaque. So if somebody has something really funky that we've never played with before, Soft Opaque is a great place to start with that. Um, and to Stephen, to your point, yes, uh, CAD prints do work on polypropylene. Remember when you're applying on something like polypropylene, the hitch is what the melt temperature is. So you just gotta make sure to get a product that's under your melt temperature. And that first one we talked about, the express prints, presses at 250 degrees. So that's under the polypropylene melt temperature, you're good to go. Now this CAD print soft opaque applies at 310 degrees. So there's the hitch. It's a little bit hotter. Now there's plenty of garments that don't scorch at 310, um, but for the stuff that is super heat sensitive, like polypropylene, I would go a step down and go with the express prints instead, just to be safe. If you've ever melted a polypropylene bag to a press, you know how horrible an experience that is. <laughs> um, Mary, this is a good question here. Mary is asking, can it apply to Cordura, a water resistant fabric? So here's the hitch to, to address this regardless. If you ever have a garment that's water resistant, okay? If you ever have a garment that's water resistant, that is a big flashing red light. Water resistant chemicals can prevent transfers from wanting to adhere. Now, the frustrating thing is 10 years ago, uh, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, when there was only a handful of these waterproofing chemicals out there, it was easy to tell you what would work and what wouldn't. Today's day and age, there are tons of different chemical coatings out there. And the downside is we can't tell you for certain what transfers will work on every chemical coating. So if you have a garment that is chemically treated to be water resistant, we advise you to call us up and get a free sample of the product. We, we can send you a free sample of the soft opaque to ensure that it will work. Because again, it's the, the sad part is there's no question that the soft opaque will work on nylon. It'll work on nylon perfectly. It's just whether or not your waterproofing is going to be the problem there. 
Um, but anyway, so CAD print soft opaque applies at 310 degrees, hot peel. It goes on nylons, lycras, spandex, poly, cotton, 50-50 blends. It goes on everything. I have had customers call me up and tell me that they can put this stuff on leather. I have had people put this stuff. I, I had a customer once press a uh, soft opaque onto a two by four. <laughs> um, I, I don't quite remember what the story was there, but it, it definitely, it definitely worked. Um, so uh, soft opaque goes on just about everything, right? Um, and it's very, uh, uh, very soft compared to the uh, express print that we talked about on the previous slide. So the soft opaque follows its name. It, it is thinner and softer to the touch compared to that express print. Uh, um, so again, it's a little bit more expensive for the soft opaque, but the soft opaque also has that stretch capacity on top of everything else. Plus it's soft, plus it applies to everything. So soft opaque, one of our most versatile products. The next CAD print is CAD prints sub block. Now CAD print sub block has all of the same things that we just talked about for the soft opaque, except the sub block has an extra feature. It blocks dye migration. Okay, it blocks dye migration. So the sub block does all the things that the soft opaque does but it blocks dye migration. And all of these CAD prints products we're talking about, folks, all these CAD prints are sold individually. The CAD prints cannot be gang sheeted. The next product we're gonna talk about can be though. So um, again, CAD print sub block has the same features as a soft opaque. That means it stretches it, for a spandex garment or for a or nylon or lycra. It applies to cottons, 50-50s polyesters. It has uh, that hot peel to it, that's nice. But the extra thing about CAD print subblock is that it can go on a garment that would normally cause dye migration. Uh, or if you're not familiar, the term dye migration refers to bleeding. Uh, we've all had one of those garments where you press a white transfer onto it, onto like a red polyester, and that white transfer bleeds and turns pink, right? Um, so dye migration is one of those facts of life when you're a, a garment printer. At some point in time, you're going to press something that is going to bleed. Um, so, oh, okay, well, Barbara, you haven't had one of those yet, right? Okay. Um, fabrics that bleed tend to be the synthetics, like polyester, uh, and it tends to be the very strongly dyed colors, like very vibrant reds, vibrant blues, vibrant greens, um, really, really dense colors like that. Um, now, the good news is that a lot of the times the uh, higher quality polyester jerseys, that kind of stuff, don't tend to bleed. Uh, but part of it also is the type of garment. If you have a sublimated garment, then that's a whole different story. If you have a sublimated garment, sublimation does bleed no matter how high quality it is. So if you're printing a transfer onto a sublimated soccer jersey, for example, because you see a lot of sublimated jerseys in soccer. Um, if you were to put a transfer on a sublimated soccer jersey, it'll look good at first, but over time, the colors from the sublimated jersey bleed into the transfer. So the CAD print sub block blocks that bleeding. And again, the proper term for bleeding is dye migration, right? Um, and there's plenty of garments out there. We're going to talk about the dye migration a little bit more as we go, but there's a lot of different stuff out there these days that is dyed in some capacity or another. Um, you see the camo hex stuff, a lot of the digital camo stuff too. Um, the, the general theme tends to be all polyester, dyed polyester garments, but we'll talk more about that as we go. All right, so we've been talking about the CAD prints. Now let's talk about ultra color. So ultra color is different. The CAD prints that we've been talking about so far, the CAD prints, if you recall, they're a print cut vinyl. Ultra color is different. So instead of involving vinyl in the process at all, we take your artwork, when we do an ultra color, we take your artwork, we print your full color artwork out, and then we screen print a layer of white ink on the back of it. So you get your full color artwork, but you get the screen print feel. Because we haven't involved any vinyl at all, we've screen printed onto the back of your full color artwork. So that's what Ultra Color Soft is. So Ultra Color Soft is sold in sheets, and the sheets are huge. They're 11 and a half by 18. So for those of you who are asking about gang sheets, 
Ultra Color Soft can be gang sheeted, and it is beautiful. 11 and a half by 18, the sheets are massive. You can get all kinds of stuff, and we're going to talk about gang sheets more in a couple screens here. Um, so unlimited possibilities with the gang sheets. Plus, uh, the outline on the Ultra Color Soft, the outline is clear. So instead of a white outline like the CAD prints, the Ultra Color Soft outline is clear. So now I do want to point out to everybody that the outline is clear. On some garments, that clear does become a little bit visible. And I wish I could tell you there's a rhyme or a reason to this, but there's really not. Um, it, it comes down to the tone of the garment. And I, I wish there was like a set in stone where I could tell you that these garments, the clear outline shows up. I can't really. Sometimes it's shades of gray. Sometimes it's shades of tan. It depends on the dye of the garment. But there are times where the clear outline on an ultra color does show up a little bit. Most times, though, nine times out of ten, the clear outline is clear. It doesn't attract a lot of attention. Unless you're looking for it, you don't always necessarily see it. Okay. But again, the big difference between CAD prints and Ultra Color is that CAD prints is made out of vinyl. Ultra Color is made out of screen printing. And again, this Ultra Color Soft, this is made out of Plastisol screen printing. So regular Plastisol screen printing, we've taken your full color artwork and then we've screen printed over top of it. So when you apply the transfer, you get your full color art and the touch, the feel of Plastisol screen printing. Oh, Todd. So this is a good question. Thank you for bringing this up, Todd. So uh, some of you may have gotten ultra color transfers already, ultra color soft or ultra color stretch. Um, some of you may have already ordered them. If you have ordered a full sheet of ultra color and you've seen black rectangles on your sheet, those black rectangles are actually for our printing process. So you can ignore those black rectangles altogether. Um, they don't always, it's not on every order. It, it's a part of our production process that we're sort of working with at the moment. Okay. So the other ultra color product that we have is ultra color stretch. So ultra color soft was digital using a base of Plastisol screen print. The ultra color stretch now is digital using a base of water-based screen printing. Okay, so same concept where we're still printing out your full color artwork, but instead of using a bed of Plastisol white ink, we're using a bed of white water-based ink. So the thing that the, the thing that makes that so special is that that water-based ink makes this ultra color stretch super stretchy, first of all. Second of all, it is soft. It is so thin um, and pleasant to the touch. But keep in mind, it is a premium product for that reason. So the ultra color stretch, super stretchy, really nice to the touch, but a little bit more on the expensive side. It is a premium product. Still the huge sheets, 11 and a half by 18 sheets, unlimited ganging possibilities. But again, you get that pleasant feel of the water-based ink there. So you get that pleasant touch to it. Okay. Um, and so, yes, uh, these can be pressed with any heat press. I saw somebody ask about the different types of heat presses. Uh, you can use any kind of commercial heat press. You do not want to use an iron, though. Uh, don't use an iron. Keep it to commercial heat presses. Any of these products will work. Uh, I saw somebody ask if there's a way to remove the clear outline. Unfortunately, no. Um, that is sort of the theme with all of our digital products is if you order a CAD print, you cannot avoid the white outline or the colored outline. And if you order an ultra color, you cannot avoid the clear outline. There's no way to eliminate that. That's just something you're going to have to live with. Uh, somebody else asked if there was a cover sheet. You need to use a cover sheet. Nope. Um, we do include a... Um, we include a static sheet where if your press has a lot of static buildup, um, then there's a static sheet that's included that you can use to cover everything up, but you don't have to use a cover sheet necessarily, no. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, again, so the, the difference between a CAD print and an ultra color is the CAD prints are made out of vinyl. The ultra color is made out of screen print. So the whole concept of these ultra color products is you get your full color artwork but you get the texture of screen printing because we've taken your full color artwork and then we've put a layer of screen print behind it. Okay. And the durability for all these products is equal. 
All of these products are just as durable as the last one. They all go through the 50 wash dry cycle test. There's no one that lasts longer than the other. None of them crack, none of them peel. Anyway, and then the very last ultra color we have, it's the same thing that we just talked about. It's ultra color stretch with blocker. So the same thing we just talked about with ultra color stretch, the difference is here is we've done the water-based ink, but then we add a dye blocking layer. So if you guys look at my photograph here on my slide, this is an example of a digital camo, uh, a digital camo, a polyester. I know somebody had asked for a, an example of dye migration. If I had put a plain white screen print transfer on this red digital camo, it would have looked okay for maybe 20, 30 minutes, and then you would have started to see the red digital camo bleed into the transfer. Because we've used an ultra color stretch with blocker, it prevents the dye migration, okay? So again, all of the great features of ultra color stretch, so it's the water-based ink, it's super thin, it's got the stretchability, but we've just added that dye blocker layer to it. Um, and again, that dye blocker layer counts as another color, so it does make it a little bit more on the expensive side. But when you're uh, decorating those high quality, high cost uh, sublimated jerseys, or in this case, like uh, these digital camo jerseys, um, it, it, this is the way you gotta go. This is the way you prevent it from bleeding. This is the way you prevent the product from turning out looking, um, looking cruddy. So uh, I mentioned gang sheets a couple times. One of the biggest draws to using our ultra color products is you can gang sheet the ultra color products. Now, again, you cannot gang sheet a CAD print because the CAD prints are printed on a roll of white vinyl. There is no sheet involved, so there's nothing to gang. If you do submit an order where you have put multiple designs together for a single CAD print, we do call you back and tell you that we can't do that. So if you need to gang a bunch of different designs together, use the ultra color. Ultra color has the 11 and a half by 18 sheet that they're printed on. So in my picture here, you see an example of an actual ultra color gang sheet that somebody put together on our website. Somebody assembled all of this and put all of this stuff together on one gang sheet for ultra color soft. Check that out. You've got two real big designs and then one, two, three, four, five, six small left chest designs or, or those might be hat sizes even or mask sizes. But the point is that 11 and a half by 18 sheet is huge and you can do all sorts of stuff with it. Um, uh, but uh, what we're gonna do here on the next slide is we're gonna talk about how to create a gang sheet. Uh, so to do this, we suggest that you use our Easy View Design Center. So our Easy View Design Center will help you visualize your gang sheet. It'll help you put it together. Uh, so you go into our design center and you essentially add, um, you can add your artwork, you can add text, you can add layouts, but the, the whole point is you add each individual piece of artwork and then position it and size it and then you continue to go. The whole point is the dotted line that you see in Easy View is your paper size. Uh, so you can literally fill that piece of paper up. That's the whole idea here. Um, and then uh, in terms of minimums, keep in mind that the ultra color soft is a five sheet minimum and then ultra color stretch and stretch with blocker is a 20 sheet minimum. So I wanna show you a, a picture here of our online designer. So what you're looking at here is our design center. So uh, this is the way the design center looks. And uh, what we've done here is all the different designs you see here on this sheet, these are all different custom designs that we have uploaded each individual custom design to this gang sheet. And we did that, uh, you see in the top left corner, there's some blue buttons. The bottom blue button says, add your art. So you click that button and you can upload your own artwork straight into the design center. And what we've done then is taken each individual piece of artwork, you upload one, you grab it, you size it, you position it. Then you upload another one, grab it and size it and position it. And you just keep going. It's pretty simple once you, once you get it going. Um, and there's two ways that you can size things with an easy view. You'll notice my little text box there. I've shown you how if you click on a piece of artwork, you can set your sizing there on that left-hand toolbar where you see width and uh, height. You can actually size it that way by typing in a size. Or if you come over to the artboard, the middle uh, where you're doing the design work there, 
you'll see that I've clicked on my uh, my my flowery design here. Um, just do you. Uh, I've clicked on it, and you'll see there are some green handles. You see my little green triangle handles around the design. You can use those handles to resize the piece of artwork too. So the whole point is you add artwork, you size it, you position it. And then on the far right hand side, you'll notice that I've got a little text box where I'm showing you where the quantity is. So once you have put this gang sheet together, the quantity that you put is the number of sheets you will get. Okay, so if I were to set this gang sheet up the way you see it on my screen, and then I put in a quantity of 20, I'm going to get 20 sheets that look exactly like this. Uh, and Alan, yes, you can go right up to that dotted line border. You cannot go over the dotted line border. So yes, you can go right up to it. Uh, and um, Julio's asking, are there any known issues with specific browsers? Uh, we do suggest that you use Chrome. Uh, Chrome is the browser that is most cooperative. Uh, Microsoft can sometimes be a little bit of a pain. Um, so we suggest that you use Chrome when you're using the Easy View, uh, the uh, online design center. Uh, and I apologize if uh, anybody is not, uh, uh, if I'm not getting to your questions, there's a whole lot of you guys here and my helper and I are trying to answer all your questions as much as we can. Nancy, I do see you're asking about cost. We're going to get that. Uh, we're going to talk about cost in just a minute here on one of the upcoming slides. So I ask you to hang tight on your cost question. Okay, so this is how to, we've been talking about how to do gang sheets using the online design center. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next topic. Uh, when you're preparing your artwork, um, when you're preparing your artwork, it is important that you understand what color mode means, okay? Digital artwork uh, generally will come over as either being RGB or CMYK color mode. Okay, this is the way that your computer is interpreting the colors of your design. So this is important because we here at Transfer Express, we print in CMYK color mode, okay? So if your artwork is set to RGB color mode, we have to convert it. Now that's not a problem, we'll do that here at Transfer Express, we're not trying to make your life difficult, but when we convert the artwork, it can make your colors change a little bit. This is the nature of the beast between RGB and CMYK. So if you send us RGB artwork, we'll convert it for you into CMYK because we print in CMYK, but you have to accept that your colors may change just a little bit. Sometimes reds turn a little pinky, blues turn a little purpley. That's life and there's nothing that can be done about that other than you converting your artwork to CMYK and sending it to us that way. Okay, so if you have artwork that is RGB, we can convert it for you. You just have to accept that your colors may shift a little bit. Uh, if that's not acceptable, then you need to convert it to CMYK yourself and send it to us that way. All right, and generally speaking, this is not something that's hard to do in your graphic design software. It, it's not difficult to switch between RGB and CMYK, depending on which software you're using, it's, it's different. Uh, so you'll want to Google how to do it in whatever particular software that you're using. Uh, so Jamie's asking a good question here, and I know you're all asking good questions. <laughs> you're asking a lot of questions. Um, but Jamie's is a question I want to call out to everybody because this is something we get asked a lot at Transfer Express. Uh, Jamie's asking, are you able to print Pantone colors? So here's the deal with that. Pantone colors are screen printing process colors, right? So we're not using screen printing process to do these digital transfers, we're using CMYK. So if you do have a Pantone color that you're particularly attached to, we can convert it to CMYK, but just be aware that those conversions are not always spot on. Those conversions can deviate just a little bit sometimes. So something to keep in mind. Okay, so when to use what? Uh, this is a super useful graphic. So this is where, uh, keep in mind, all of you guys are going to get emailed all of our webinar slides. Um, this is a slide that I suggest you guys earmark and come back to. Uh, this is a fantastic tool. <laughs> um, so this is a, a quick little infographic that tells you, depending on your apparel type, which full color transfer to use. 
So if you're doing a cotton or a cotton poly blend t-shirt, ultra color soft. If you're doing a 100% polyester, meaning it uh, could be wicking a heat sensitive fabric, ultra color soft. If you're doing lycra or spandex, ultra color stretch. And if you're doing sublimated span, uh, sublimation polyester, sublimated spandex, any kind of sublimation garment, ultra color stretch with blocker. Okay, so this entire time we've been talking about, uh, some of you have been asking questions about pricing and stuff. I'm gonna give you some examples of some actual designs and then we're gonna talk about how you should do it and we're gonna talk about what the pricing is, okay? So this first example that I'm gonna show you uh, here, we're looking at Trumbull Panthers and we're gonna say that uh, this is something that you need to do under five pieces, okay? Um, so let's say that uh, maybe this is just one or two pieces that you're doing. Maybe this is for your kid. Maybe this is something you're doing just for a Christmas present or a birthday present for your kid, that sort of thing. Um, so when you're doing such a small quantity of between one and four pieces, you literally only have one choice at Transfer Express, and that's CAD prints. Our CAD prints product, uh, you can print as few pieces as you want. The hitch with the CAD prints product, just to keep in mind, is that the minimum order amount is $25. So if you were to order one piece of the Trumbull Panthers design you see on my slide here, one piece in our CAD prints, you can do it and it's just $25. So what I'm showing you here on this slide, this is our CAD prints price calculator. Uh, so for those of you who are sitting there thinking to yourself, you know what, I want to try a CAD print. Uh, remember, we talked about how CAD prints are cost effective. Uh, the CAD prints, uh, express prints are very cost effective. And that CAD prints uh, soft opaque that I showed you guys, remember how I talked about how those go on just about anything under the sun. You can apply soft opaque to almost anything under the sun. So if you're sitting there thinking that you want to try CAD prints, Remember I mentioned that the CAD prints are priced by square inch, okay? CAD prints are priced by square inch. They're printed on that vinyl material. So if you go to transferexpress.com backslash calculators, you'll see there is a CAD prints digital price calculator. So in my example here, I've on my dropdown, I've chosen soft opaque, I've chosen to keep the outline. So notice there's a, an option there on my webpage. You see there's an option that says cut in outline. That's referring to the white outline. So on that drop down, you could click and choose to not keep the white outline. Uh, in this case, I've chosen to keep the white outline. I've said I need 50 pieces and I've said five by five. So then off to the side, it gives me my unit price and then my total, all right? So this is the CAD Prince price calculator. This is a great tool for you guys. Um, <laughs> thank you, Alan, I appreciate that. Um, you know what the funny thing, Alan? Our customer service reps use the calculators too. So if you guys call us to get a quote, the customer service reps are using these calculators to give you the quote. <laughs> so, um, so if, and that, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. If you want us to give you the quote, we can totally do that. But I'm just giving you guys the tool here. If you want to get a quote yourself, transferexpress.com backslash calculators. Now, ultra color, on the other hand, ultra color is not priced by square inch. Ultra color is priced by sheet. Okay. So now, you can order different sheet sizes. If you look at the top left here, um, the uh, the sheet size is uh, changeable. So you can order a sheet size that's smaller. You can get those little tiny extra small sheets or you can order a full size gang sheet, 11 and a half by 18. Either way, the point is that uh, the ultra color does allow for gang sheets. Uh, and it does allow for a lot of diversity in terms of the way you can do this pricing. So if you have a small design, um, let's say you have a design that's four inches by four inches, you could order individual four by four pieces, or you could order an 11 and a half by 18 gang sheet and fill that sucker with a whole bunch of four by fours. And that's what we're going to look at on the next screens here. So uh, for those of you who've been asking for prices, I appreciate your patience. We're getting to that actually here now in just a second. I'm going to give you some actual live price examples. Okay. All right. So 
The first piece of artwork we're looking at here is Smiley's Ice Cream. So you see Smiley's Ice Cream? This is the design that we're using as an example. So Smiley's Ice Cream has come to you, and they need this design to be 5x5. Five five. They're going to put it on some aprons. They need it to be 5x5, five five, and they want 50 pieces. So what I've done here on this slide is I've shown you the cost for 50 CAD prints. Now I've used express prints in my example because we're only putting this on a plain cotton canvas apron, nothing special. Uh, so I've chosen express prints because I don't need the stretchability of uh, soft opaque. I don't need anything fancy on just a plain old cotton canvas apron. So 50 express prints at four by four, they're 208 a piece. Under ultra color, you'll notice that I've given you two options. You could do 50 ultra color soft images, meaning 50 individual pieces, not ganged, or you can do 10 ultra color soft gang sheets with six per sheet. So either way, I've given you the breakdown of how much each individual piece would be. So you see in this example, it's cheaper, more cost effective for you to go with the CAD prints at 208 a piece. But notice I've, I've noted here in, uh, in parentheses, this would have a white outline. So that's the hitch with this one. In this example for Smiley's Ice Cream, it is cheaper to go with the CAD Prince Express prints at 208 a piece. It would just have a white outline around it. Now, if these people, if Smiley's came back and said, no, 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 we don't want a white outline, no problem then. We can go to the Ultra Color, and you'll notice the Ultra Color can be 250 per piece. So a little bit more expensive to get rid of that uh, white outline. Remember that Ultra Color has that clear outline instead. But keep in mind, guys, I know that this is one of those things when you're, when you're talking about a CAD print to your customers, a lot of times your customers don't, may not want an outline or maybe, maybe they've given you the impression they're not looking for one. Remember that a lot of times a, a simple white outline around a design can be a thing that helps it pop. So what's funny to me is from a customer service perspective, there's a lot of times that the white outline that people sometimes freak out just a little bit about, that, that white outline can actually be very beneficial um, and, and can help it. I, it. Honestly, that white outline makes it so you can put that design on just about anything in terms of colors and not have to worry about it not popping. So that, that's kind of the funny thing about CAD prints is people hear the white outline and they kind of panic a little bit, but it's really not, not a big deal and it's generally very helpful. Um, but yes, Heather, uh, all CAD prints have a white outline. Now, here's a little sidebar, though. Let's say the Smiley's Ice Cream people told you, okay, well, we'll accept that there has to be an outline around our logo, but we don't want it to be white. We want it to be a black outline around our logo. You can change the outline color. It's just a flat $20 fee to do that. Okay. Um, but so here's my example. This is just the first example that I'm giving you. Um, uh, of a uh, uh, of a pricing option here. So let's look at the next one. Okay, so the next one I've got is American as baseball and apple pie and 4th of July. Uh, my design is 11 by 11, so full size 11 by 11, and it's 50 pieces. Okay, so starting with the CAD prints, oh, and I'm sorry, we're going to put this on a plain 50-50 t-shirt. Okay, so nothing special. We're not putting this on any kind of wacky garment, just a plain 50-50 t-shirt. So again, on my CAD prints, I've chosen express prints because again, we're putting it on plain 5050. I didn't need anything special here. So uh, uh, 50 pieces of an express print at 11 by 11, they are 347 a piece. Now under ultra color, you'll notice that I did not give you an individual image price because of how large this is. This is uh, 11 inches by 11 inches. I don't have an individual image size for that. So you do have to order the ultra color soft in the full sheet size. So those would be 570 a piece. So in this example, 347 a piece for the CAD prints, 570 a piece for the ultra color. And again, because that CAD print is cheaper, uh, more cost effective, it would have that white outline around it. Now, what I want to throw out to everybody is that there's more to go into this decision too. The CAD prints is $347 a piece. Ultra color is $570 a piece. So from a price perspective, it seems like a no-brainer. But something to keep in mind, too, is that 
a CAD prints, express print is going to be a little thicker to the touch, right? It's going to be a little bit heavier, okay? To where the ultra color is going to be a little bit softer. So now this might not be a big deal to your customer. And this is where it's up to you guys to understand what your customer wants. If your customer doesn't care about the feel of the t-shirt necessarily, maybe this is for like a one day thing for a family picnic and they're looking for something really cost effective. Okay, no big deal. CAD prints, express prints, bam, done. But if your customer is looking for something that is softer, they, know they, they, they want something a little bit more high quality, they want something that's a little bit more fancy, not something quite so basic, then yeah, then you go with the ultra color. So, all right, let's look at the next one here. The, the next one I've got is time to rum wild. <laughs> Who comes up with this stuff, right? Time to rum wild. Uh, so my example here, we've got eight, and three quarters, so 8.75 by 11, and we've got 50 pieces. And again, this uh, is gonna go on a plain cotton t-shirt. We're putting this guy on just a plain cotton t-shirt. So 8.75 by 11, 50 pieces on a CAD Prince Express print, they are 6.79 a piece. But for the ultra color, we have an individual image size that's 420 per piece. Or even better, because this design is 8.75 by 11, remember our ultra color sheets are huge. They're 11 and a half by 18, so I can put two per sheet, which means that 25 sheets of these guys, the cost ends up only being 383 per individual image. So in this particular case, the ultra color soft sheets are the best way to go. Okay, so now what I want to make sure to specify to everybody, what I want to make sure everyone's clear on is that the examples that I'm giving you here, the examples that we're walking through right now, these are things that the customer service reps can do for you and do do for you. So if you were to upload this piece of artwork, Time to Run Wild, if you were to upload this piece of artwork to us, the customer service reps will actually go through this exact process with you. They'll give you the CAD prints, the ultra color and all that kind of pricing. So in this example, you see we've done a gang sheet. We've done all of the designs. We've got Smiley's Ice Cream. We've got our uh, American design. We've got our Rum Wild. Plus, we've got other stuff. We've got Tiger Time, and we've got some cheerleader stuff on there. So a gang sheet. Now, here's the catch. You cannot do gang sheets with CAD prints. So our Rum Wild design here on this sheet, that 8.75 by 11, those would be six seventy nine a piece. But that's just the realm wild. Then your American design's got to be a second order. Then your smileys has got to be a third order. And then your be strong, be yourself has got to be a fourth order. So for CAD prints, this is not viable at all. This is not an option at all because each individual image has to be its own separate order for CAD prints. But for ultra color, you can do the gang sheet, the ultra color soft gang sheet, 11 and a half by 18, 50 pieces, 570 per sheet. Think about that, guys. 570 per sheet, and each sheet has all of this stuff on it. So you do the math. That's super cost effective. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different designs on this sheet. So 570 per sheet, that makes them pretty cost effective. Okay, so those were the costing examples. I wanna take a second to throw out there to everybody that there is an event coming up that we are super stoked about, super stoked about. I want everybody to take note of this, please. We have an event coming up here. The event is called Unleash the Color. It is April 7th. It is a full day event of inspiration and instruction from all sorts of people from group stall are, are going to be online there to give you uh, instructions and ideas and to talk you through ultra color. Um, uh, so again, we love our CAD prints. The CAD prints product is great, but the ultra color is the future. Okay. So the Unleash the Color event, it's going to be recorded so you can go back into the platform and watch it anytime after you've registered or you can attend the event live and uh, we'll answer questions in real time just like we do during these webinars. 
Uh, so watch your emails for the registration to come out, guys. Watch your emails. For those of you uh, who are watching this webinar live right now, you guys will get emails uh, that you can register for the Unleash the Color event. So keep an eye out for it. We are super stoked about this. We're going to do a full day event that is going to talk about all things ultra color, all things ultra color and digital transfers. Um, there's going to be a lot to learn, a lot of stuff to talk about. Whew, boy, we covered a lot of stuff and gosh, we came in just over the 60 minute mark. <laughs> um, I, you guys asked so many questions. I am so sorry. I know that I didn't get to every single question, but you, this, this had to be the most interactive audience we've had in a while. You guys were uh, lots of great questions here. Um, I, I, I'm going to answer a couple more in just a second, but for those of you who got to get going, I want to thank everybody for coming today. I want to point out to all of you that if you have ideas for webinars you would like to see, please shoot us an email, info at transferexpress.com. If you have never checked out our blog before, please go hit blog.transferexpress.com. Our blog is award-winning in our industry. Our marketing department works so hard on it. Our blog is phenomenal, phenomenal. So check it out. This webinar and all the other webinars you will find recorded at transferexpress.com backslash webinars. So please, please, please check that out as well. Uh, yes, uh, Kari Dodd, the uh, recording is at transferexpress.com backslash webinars. You'll be able to see the whole thing there. So thank you so much, Donna and Doug. Thank you. We can't wait for you to join us and uh, watch out for that. Uh, watch out for that email you're going to get about our upcoming event here. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, I hope everybody joins us for that. That's going to be a whole day of education. So much fun. Jamie, quick question on the ultra color. Can you print a photo with the edges fading? Oh, no, Jamie, that's a good question. No, you cannot do that. So your artwork, uh, Jamie's asking if the edges of artwork can fade into the shirt. And the answer is no, for the CAD prints and for the ultra color, you have to have a hard edge to your artwork, Jamie. Uh, the artwork has to fade into something. So you can make it fade into whatever color you want, but it just can't fade into nothing, unfortunately. Uh, Paulette, you know what? We don't make transfers for mugs, unfortunately. Paulette, I'm sorry about that. All right, everybody. Well, for those of you who still stuck around, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate everybody. Uh, let's see here. I'm concerned about color. Will my proof show the actual color that the transfer will be? I don't know what it was when I sent it in. So Darlene, uh, when we send you a proof that will be a reflection of what the artwork will be printed as, yes. But keep in mind, Darlene, that you're still viewing it on a computer screen. So this is one of those sort of, this is one of those uh, uh, technological things, Darlene, that's, that's hard to get past, is you're going to be looking at your proof on your computer screen, and it will be accurate, Darlene, yes. But keep in mind that the way it looks on your computer screen and the way it prints out at our facility might not be 110% spot on. So at the end of the day, Darlene, when you send us full color artwork, you just need to make sure that you send us CMYK artwork. If you send us CMYK artwork, then what you're gonna get printed will be exactly what you sent us. Abby, so the high heat soft feel transfers that people are selling, water-based maybe, uh, you know what, Abby, that's one of those things that it's, <laughs> God bless our industry, Abby. People say that kind of stuff. High heat, soft feel. I, gosh only knows, Abby. I, I'm not sure. It depends on what those people are doing exactly. They very well could be, yes. Uh, they very well could be water-based, perhaps, yes. Um, but there are soft feel transfers that, uh, that a whole bunch of different soft feel transfers that uh, sort of meet that need. So uh, honestly, Abby, my suggestion would be you take it as a sort of like a case by case basis. And if you have a, an order that you need something to be soft feel like that, um, that you send us the artwork and we'll walk you through it. Call us up. All right, everybody. Now that we're way past time, thank you so much. Um, 
Oh, Mark, I saw your question there. Mark uh, is asking ultra color versus DTG. Um, so Mark, that's kind of a complicated question because DTG is sort of like uh, comparing ultra color versus DTG is like comparing apples to oranges uh, because DTG is such a different process, printing directly onto a garment, DTG being direct to garment. Um, DTG can be very soft and can be very cost effective but DTG's quality is still suspect. I know it's better than it was years ago when DTG first came out, but DTG is still not a super high quality process. Ultra color is much higher quality. Plus on top of it, DTG does not tend to be super bright and vibrant all the time to where the ultra color is bright and vibrant. With that note, we're gonna end the webinar and we will see you next time. Have a good one.